All right, so here we have a question that states which of the following represents a lateral limb lead? Okay, the first choice is lead one, lead two, lead three, and the last one, lead AVR. Okay, so what we want to do here, and we have a 12 lead ECG. You don't have the rhythm strip here, but you have the 12 leads. And let's just kind of familiarize ourselves with the leads. So remember, over here on the left side, we have our limb leads. Okay, and then here on the right side, we have the precordial leads, okay? And notice that there are six limb leads and six precordial leads. Remember, from beginning all the way to the end of our ECG represents 10 seconds, okay? And then each one of these leads that we see is 2.5 seconds, okay? So if you were to add those up, that's where you get the 10 seconds, okay? So the standard ECG gives you 10 seconds in duration. So we have six limb leads, six precordial leads. Now what we're asking here in the question is, which one is the lateral limb lead, okay? So that should give you a clue that we're dealing with one of the answers has to be one of the six. Now, uh, what's not so helpful is that all these choices are actually limb leads, right? Here's lead one, here's lead two, here's lead three, and then here's lead AVR. So what we need to know is which ones are the lateral, which ones are uh, where they're located in which what we mean by this is lateral means that it's looking at the lateral portion of the heart and oftentimes we mean the left ventricle is what we mean okay so the lateral portion of the left ventricle okay and one way to do it is by knowing your quadrant systems okay remember we kind of use this when we find axis all right now we know that lead one sits here okay AVL is up here lead two AVF is down here okay and then lead three and AVR. So those are our limb leads, okay? And if you imagine we have, maybe we'll just put our heart here. So we'll just put our heart in the middle, okay? Now, what you see here is these lateral limb leads are actually these ones, okay? On the lateral portion of the heart. These inferior leads are these ones that sit here that are below and looking at the inferior portion. So two, three, and AVF are the inferior limb leads. So if you look here, this would be our inferior limb leads, these ones here, all right? Now, the lateral limb leads we mentioned were 1 and AVL, okay? Looking at the lateral portion of the heart. So 1 and AVL, which would be 1 here, okay? And so would AVL in this portion, okay? And then you have AVR here, which sits there, okay? You may hear also negative AVR, which would be here, simply the inverse of AVR, okay? So that's the limb leads, and just know that that is the frontal plane, okay? So up and down, whereas these precordial leads are more in the horizontal plane, where we go from the right side to the left side, from V1 all the way to V6, okay? The right-sided leads being more here towards V1, and the lateral limb leads, or lateral precordial leads, looking at that lateral left side of the heart over around V5 and V6 area, okay? So you can imagine you go from the right side portion of the heart, and as you go through, you come more to the left side, okay? But our focus here was over on this portion here, these um, limb leads, okay? So let's just kind of, as you can imagine, our answer for this, if we said these are the lateral limb leads, one in AVL, here's the one here, okay? And you can see that two, three, and, A and AVR are certainly not. Two and three making up those inferior leads, okay? And AVR sitting here, that's not. So let's just kind of erase this and just review what we discussed uh, before we end here, okay? This is important to know because this helps us when we start localizing different uh, occlusions, whether it's within an artery or within the um, heart that's affected, okay? So make sure you are able to identify where these limb leads are located. I notice uh, a lot of the students will have some tr uh, difficulty and it's just kind of a lot of repetition. So again, the lateral limb leads are one here, okay, and AVL. Okay, AVL wasn't an answer, but one was, so it certainly was. And remember that we have our inferior leads, which are these here, two, three, and AVF. Okay, so inferior leads, limb leads, okay. And then I'll put here, these are the lateral, okay, and same thing here, okay. And then AVR is certainly not uh, one of those. So again, remember, these are limb leads. So to review our question, it says, which of the following represents a lateral limb lead? So we know limb lead puts us over on this side of the ECG. Lateral puts us either at one or AVO, and we see that one is our answer here, okay? Well, that's the end of this lecture. I hope you learned something. Please don't forget to like this video and leave a comment below if you like what we're doing. In fact, many of you have asked how you could help us out. 
Really, the best way you could do is simply subscribe and share this resource with your friends. You get free access to more than 300 videos. There is also a community of over 270,000 of us like-minded individuals on Facebook. So stop over and join the EKG Guys uh, Facebook community. Many of you have also asked some questions. Leave them below or share them on Facebook, and we can try to answer them with a short video so everyone else can learn. We also have a number of new courses with corresponding videos coming out soon, so stay tuned for those. Last but certainly not least, your feedback is incredibly helpful and your kind words are always an encouragement on those long days. So let us know how we're doing. Thank you again for your support. It is truly appreciated. We're the largest, fastest growing EKG resource in the world.